Holy mackerel. What is going on here? This is crazy. Well, this is Snowpocalypse, day four. Got some good news today that this uh, snow, which it's currently doing right now again, is supposed to turn to rain about 10 o'clock. We'll hope and see. Well, at least the hummingbirds can still find their food. <laughs> if there's any hummingbirds around here. At least the uh, snow is starting to get a little bit more slushy. It's completely buried my solar lights. Uh, my wife is going to be traveling to Portland today because she's got a flight tonight to Atlanta. Believe it or not, it is melting. It's falling off of the trees. It is about 34. Bug is just about it's just about snowed in. It's halfway up to the halfway up the rim. I think we got about another five, maybe six inches last night. So wow. Snowpocalypse, baby. Well, back into snowpocalypse again. I'm sure I'll have a couple more videos here. Um, <laughs> still in the snow. Because uh, I gotta keep going on this. Looks like school's gonna be canceled for the next couple of days. Breaks my heart. Well, hopefully snowpocalypse is coming to an end. It's now kind of more rain than snow. Snow just ended. And it's now just kind of raining. Only thing is, is it's supposed to be a slushy, snowy mix for the next several days. But uh, I don't care. I'm going to try to grab this snorkel. Oh yeah, I can clear that off. I had to go in and change my jacket. It was totally soaked. Of course, this one's not faring much better. It's uh, totally raining now and it's melting like crazy, which is a very good thing. But hey, I'm ready to take this air box and snorkel off, which is another good thing.
All right. There's a couple of things that that I couldn't really show you because uh, two reasons. One of them, my phone died, and the other one was it was just too tight to get in there. So I'm going to show you nice and close up the other things that I had to remove to get this thing out. All right, so this is one of the. Also had to take this out. There was just a really tiny, about a quarter inch tube coming out of there. And if you look on the bottom here, there was also a hose, about a one inch hose. And it just had a, a hose clamp on it. Uh, this one I just had to unscrew it. Um, pretty simple to take off. So here's another nice piece that I've gotten off of the off of there so what the heck <laughs> it's a harbor freight flashlight where did it come out of in here And lastly, I stuffed a couple of cotton shirts in there, and I'm going to put a Ziploc baggie over the top of that just to keep moisture and any kind of debris out of that hose. Okay, I also did this off camera. Uh, this was on the bracket on the back side. And so what I did is I removed this cap and then unscrewed this rather large um, nut like washer I guess and uh, popped out the back side and out it came and that was located uh, let's see which side right there that's where it was located so I had to pull that out I know what you're asking, big question mark, why? I think this is a 78 or 79 Ford U-Haul, and this will be the time capsule of sorts and storage point for all of the LMTV parts. We're working some magic, these, uh, the beads these two tires could come off the rim, so we got to pull them and go have them serviced. We'll be back. RV will help us uh, get this thing home. Well, we got the tires put back on the beads. Andy hooked us up. And now we're just getting this thing put back on, and hopefully we'll get this towed home safely. <laughs> Fuel pump is replaced. Yep, that's right. And RV is <sighs> We're getting it hooked up to the carburetor. Oh yeah, we can get this thing up and hold on. Zoom, zoom. This is not a commercial for a PB Blaster, but I think that PB Blaster should be sponsoring this show because I think on every bolt on this LMTV is going to need it. What do you think, Bob? All right, so we're going to drain the radiator, do the responsible thing, put it into a bucket. <laughs> so that uh, no animals will be harmed with this. When that comes out, that really comes out.
Well, I got uh, two more guys that showed up. Uh, my two uh, older brothers. Got uh, Mike on the left, of course, Silent Bob in the middle, and Roy on the right. Yes. No. Well, guys, I just wondering your expert opinion. This looks pretty good antifreeze here. Um, do you think that that's reusable? No. Yes. Wait a minute. Is that all you guys can say? Yes. <laughs> so great. So Mike is. Yes. And Roy is. No. And Bob is. Oh, this is going to be a fantastic day. Well, I think we need to get the, the cab forward. Yes. No. What is up with the dissension here? Let's get the cab forward. Yes. No. Ah, uh, okay. one. You getting it, Mike? Yes. No. You're not getting it, Roy? No. Dang it. You need a metric uh, Allen wrench set? No. Not standard. <gasps> no. <laughs> he broke character. Bobby broke character. I said not. <laughs> <laughs> Well, hey folks, we got uh, the radiator out and the reservoir out. We're pretty stoked about all that. It was super heavy. And uh, <laughs> so we're going to end up this uh, video and we're going to sign out here. Um, I'm Dave Anderson. This is Roy Anderson, Bob Anderson, and Mike Anderson. And we're the Anderson brothers. This is not all of our family, but this is, this is the, uh, the, the bulk of us anyway. Anyway... <laughs> I could always cut that out in the <laughs> in the editing, <laughs> or maybe not. So if you really like this video, please give us a like, and definitely if you're a subscriber that's been here for a while or a brand new subscriber, go ahead and give us a comment. We love to hear from you guys and, and hear what you guys have to say. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. That would be awesome. Definitely love to have more the merrier. Until next time, guys, we're going to go have a coffee break and have some homemade banana bread warmed up in the micro. Till next time, be safe and God bless.